I definitely just put glitter on just to hang out my house, but like I'm totally feeling the glitter today and the world definitely needs more glitter. Hey guys, it's Jess from She's Posh. Welcome back. And today I have another designer designer dupe. So these are handbags that are also designer and high quality, not Amazon dupes, but they are definitely inspired by high-end designers. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday, all designer and fashion related. I love sharing with you all my tips and tricks. If that is something you're into, please remember to subscribe below and ring that bell. And we can become best friends here on the internet. Okay guys, I have another designer designer dupe in my series. You guys really liked my Bottega Veneta dupe, so I got you another Bottega Veneta designer designer dupe. So if you want to see that one, it was a dupe done by Mensor Gabriel, and it was from their pouch bag. And I was really surprised, I actually loved it. And the reason I was able to get it, I don't actually buy all these bags, is I love to rent from Rent the Runway. So I have a video on that if you're interested all about that, how I run handbags and clothing, please click on that now. But let's get to it. So I am feeling Bottega Veneta. I don't know if you guys are as well. I do have one bag from them that has that beautiful woven leather. It is vintage and luckily I got it before the hype because now those bags are going for $800, $900 vintage and I was able to score mine for around 300 So I'm so lucky to have that. However, I am still lusting over some of these other pieces, but they are just not in your girl's budget. It is really hard to pay over $2,000 for some of these bags that I don't know if they're gonna be around for the long haul. And to be honest, it's just hard for me to pay $2,000 for like anything. So this bag, I saw it, it popped up on Rent the Runway and I had to snatch it up because it gave me Bottega Veneta vibes. And I, this is the first time me trying this designer and I am totally recommending them. Here is the bag right here. Isn't she absolutely beautiful? Like if you see, I have pictures on my Instagram of this bag. And this is from a company called Heru. I'm hoping, hoping I'm saying that right. But this is a tote bag. This is the small size. They also have a larger size that I am definitely thinking about buying. How gorgeous is this? So this is 100% cap skin leather they call this color like tomato but it's like not really red it's kind of like a an orange color absolutely gorgeous i absolutely love like i like this style it's totally giving me Bottega banana it's called i think it's called the arco arco bag i'll insert a picture of it but it has this like neat shape to it it's a pretty big oversized bag but it gave me those kind of vibes and i just love like this big weaving here and the fun fact about this company is they are handmade in Spain bags. They're totally great, high quality. So when you see this here, all of these are handmade by artisans. And when you open it up, look at that. It has like the raw leather inside. You have little leather feet right here. You have the hair root, it has like a thing here and a magnetic closure. Now it's perfect magnetic closure because it's strong enough to stay closed but not too strong, we feel like you're prying it open. So I just have been totally enjoying this and I would definitely love the larger size. This size is perfect, like it's cute and gorgeous, but I want the larger size because when you put it up here, this drop here, if you do it from here to here, it is seven and a half inches. However, when I have a sweater on, like as you can see, like I can still put it over my shoulder, but there's not a lot of space there. I would really prefer to have the large one. I just think it looks so cute. So I'll insert some pictures of that larger one, but I just absolutely fell in love with it. I love the craftsmanship. I've been wearing this like nonstop for the past what, three or four days now, and I'm loving it. I'm getting some, getting like so many compliments on it as well. So let's go to the dimensions of this small size bag. So the height here is 14 inches, your length, and you know, I'm doing it from the longest point is 17 inches and your width is three inches. And again, you see you have the leather feet. I mean, I always like when bags have feet, but I definitely appreciate when they have some leather feet. Now this le leather here is 100% calf skin and it is like textured. So there are no, like I couldn't find, because when you get rental bags, like it's a great way to see the quality of a bag because there's tons of people wearing them and people aren't necessarily gentle with bags. 
I am. I respect all bags that I'm getting rented to me because I act like I'm borrowing it from a girlfriend. So I'm extremely careful. But you know, some people aren't careful. So it gives you a good chance to see the quality of the bag. And I'm very impressed. And this company also has these really cute shoes that are like woven. So I'm definitely going to be buying some stuff from them. So I wanted to share this with you. Let's put some stuff in here because I kind of want to show you like how it looks with stuff in it because it carries a lot but like the stuff I've been carrying and I took it out so I could show you so here is my key clay we have our six ring key holder pollen pouch and a sunglass case and it is shut so you can see like it is strong enough magnet that you know when you have a tote one of my things reasons like I don't necessarily like totes I don't know if it's because I'm like I'm not a crazy driver like I swear people just suck at driving and I'll have a bag on my seat and I'll have to hit my brain with someone stupid in front of me because I live in Erie, Pennsylvania and especially in the summertime, people don't pay attention to where they're going and I'm always like slamming on brakes it feels like and then my bag will fall like this. Look at that. The magnet is so strong. I don't have to worry about my stuff falling out. Like I just like really appreciated that with the bag. So if you ever have things like that, that's really why I don't like totes is because sometimes I feel like I have a work tote, but it has a zipper on it. Like I'm not a big tote person. If I do have a tote, I like to have it with like an organizer in it so my stuff doesn't move around. Mm -hmm. But I was just very impressed with this bag. So this is definitely gonna have to be added to my collection for sure. So I will put the links below and also do the links for Rent the Runway that they have. Cause you could also just like rent something for a little bit. Like if there's some bags in there, they have Mansard Gabrielle, they have Stodd bags. They have uh, Philip Lem, they have all these different bags. So if you wanted to try a designer out and you didn't want to sign up for like membership or something like that, they do have rentals that you can do for like four to like week, I think they're one week rentals that you can do. If you like, you can also do that. Right, guys, that is everything. That is another of my designer designer dupes. If you like videos like this, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think about this bag. Isn't this gorgeous? Like I, th I think I want to continue to show you guys some more affordable designers that you may never have heard of. Because I have Run the Runway, I have access to all these fabulous pieces. I want to share them with you. And as always, I want to thank you so much for watching and hope to see you again. Bye guys.